This poem's called Agony Uncle. Don't touch, don't hug, don't gather, don't sing, don't go near each other. This straw-haired man gets high on repeating gratuitous advice. He's a nag, he's a drone, he's background noise, he's incessant. He never says once what he can say even more emphatically twice, or five times, or twelve. Don't go to the coast, don't go to the football, don't go abroad. Whatever you do, don't visit care homes, family or friends. Have no respect for your own intelligence. It's flawed. Always use mine. It's on hierarchical obedience that the survival of society depends. It's a pity, because actually this man has in his time acquired some strong life lessons, and they're valuable. At his Russian lectern, there are things he could well explore, like if you're fucking a businesswoman on the family sofa and you hear your wife's going to be home in under 10 minutes, withdraw. Or if your country's hit by a global pandemic, ignore it, stay at evening, relax, make sure your responses are slow, democratically corrupt and fatally postponed. Now's a good time, surely, to give us all unqualified contracts to manufacture PPS by granting the entire electorate the mobile number your private chums privately phoned. Now that's what I would call informative and useful. You must have tips. Surely, under the deciduous conservative magic money tree, there must be space. Good citizens, we're eager to collect our equal share of the 37 billion you've already wasted on a functionally useless system of test and trace. That's what I'm saying. Don't just pontificate. For God's sake, communicate from your spanking new media centre. Reveal to us the use of the beautiful lie. You lied on the times. You lied as Mayor of London. Now you lie in Parliament. Teach us how lying can bring a benison not even money can buy. For fuck's sake, you've built this machine. Now use it. We don't need anodyne lectures on washing hands and standing two metres apart. We know already, it's clear, by your manner. You're on sinking sand when you parrot the same old rubbish. Forget what you're told to say. No one's interested. Tell us what we need to hear. You've thrived on special skills, liberated from talent, integrity, judgment or warmth. So next, mould a country in your own image. Show what a newly built pulpit can be. Make protest illegal. Black lives don't matter. Always have a brother in government. Break international law. Go swim the length of the non-existent border in the Irish Sea. There are so many brilliant options open if you'll just throw away the nanny state script. We know from outstanding examples of your past behaviour, respectability is not your bag. Carry on as you are, and you're going to die in the same way as you're living right now. Adored by the fawning press that spawned you, your dog meat wrapped in the Union flag. <laughs>